Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music. I'm going to talk about how you could strum through a song called Introducing Me by Nick Jonas. And we end up cabling this on the fourth fret to kind of match the recording, but it does have a couple cool links at the beginning where you can play third fret on the low E string, open B, open G, and then take the third fret on the B string, and then kind of do a pull off to the open B, and then second fret on the G, and then open B. So you got three O O, three O two O. Licks really around a G major chord. We play G major. First finger goes to the A on the second fret, second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And now on our intro, it's all kind of around that G major. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4 4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So if you take the G and just tried that a lot, you'd have down, down, up. Up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then from that intro, we'll be going into our verse part. And our verse, we start on the G major, and then we do another G major, and then we go to a D major chord, and we play D major. First finger goes to the G on the second fret, second finger on the high E on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord that sounds really, really happy. Now you all will also kind of hear something in, in the bass there, that low E on the second fret, which is an F sharp there. And you could kind of put those together if you wanted to. You could do low E on the first fret, second finger on the G string second fret, third finger on the high E second fret, and the pinky on the B string third fret. If you strum all those together, that's called a D slash F sharp, or an F sharp in the bass. Or you could kind of take the regular D shape and then use your thumb to kind of cover that note on the low E string on the second fret. And then from the D slash F sharp, we're going to go into an E minor chord. And we play E minor. First finger goes to the A on the second fret, second finger on the D string second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor, we're going to be going to a C major chord. And we play C major. First finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string second fret and the third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord that sounds really, really happy. And then from the C, we'd be going back to our G and kind of repeating that. So we try to reverse with our strum pattern. We'd have G down, up, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, down, twice and kind of going into a verse tag around an A minor chord when we play A minor. First finger stays on the B string first fret, second finger on the D string second fret, and third finger on the G string second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. And from the A minor on our first tag, we go to the G major chord, but you kind of hear the A string on the second fret coming out of that. And that's called G slash B or a G with a B in the bass. And then from the G slash B, we go to an a major chord when we play A major. First finger goes to the D on the second fret, second finger on the G string second fret, and the third finger on the B string second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the A major, we're going to be going back to our C major chord and another C major. We kind of have a big hit on a C major kind of at the end of that first verse tag. So we try our verse tag with our strum pattern. We'd have A minor down, up, up, down, up, A minor down. up a lot of those different parts. Now the weird part is to play along with Nick, instead of starting on a G major chord, it's actually starting on a B major chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on fourth fret, then now your G major is really a B major, your D major is really an F sharp major, your E minor is really a G sharp minor, and your C major is really an E major, and when we get to the A minor, it's really a C sharp minor, and the A major is really a C sharp major. But to take it from the very, very beginning, we got kind of that opening lick. If you wanted to kind of, uh, kind of use that to kind of open up the tune, I just think that'd be kind of a cool way to kind.
kind of start it off at 3-0-0, 3-0, 2-0, or you could strum through that and have G down, up, up, down, up, G down, up, up, down, up, G down, up, up, down, up, G down, up, up, down, up. And then from there, we'll be going into our first verse. So we have our G down, up, up, down, up, G down, up. verse tag. So we have our A minor down up, up down up, A minor down up, up down up, G down up, up down up, G down up, up down up, A major down up, up down up, A down up, up down up, C down up, up down up, C down up, up down up, C. And then from there we go into our, our chorus part, which is just like our verse. So we got our G down up, up down up, G down up, form is kind of an extension of the chorus tag. Um, now something else that, that I like to, to add to a song like this too is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you can throw in a bass for the chord. So on the G you'd have the low E string for your bass. On the D you'd have the D for the bass. On the D slash F sharp you can use the low E string for the bass. And on the E minor you'd have the low E for the bass. On the C you'd have the A string for the bass. On the A minor you'd have the A for the bass. And on the A major you'd have the A for the bass. And if you wanted to, to get that G slash B out, you can play the A string for the bass on the G chord. So we tried that that next part, actually kind of that, that chorus tag past the chorus tag, it's kind of like our, our verse part, with basses, we'd have G low E bass down, up, up down, G low E bass down, up, up down, B slash F sharp. There, then we go into our next verse. So we kept that going with the basses. We'd have two Louis bass, two Louis bass, and slash of shawl.
next chorus tag. So we have our A minor. That's the basics of how you could strum through Introducing Me by Nick Jonas. So, good luck!